let us understand what is cross rate and what is cross multiplication first let's understand what is cross rate cross rate is basically an exchange rate it is basically an exchange rate which will not talk about the exchange rate of home currency say for example i reside in india and i talk about an exchange rate and that exchange rate does not has my home currency does not have my home currency say for example i have the exchange rate as dollar per euro or i have the exchange rate as pound per dollar so these are all the exchange rates which does not involve my indian currency called rupees so these rates are called as cross rates whereas the exchange rate which involves your home currency is called as straight rate is called as straight rate so this is about cross rate cross rate is different from the concept of cross multiplication which is used in exchange rates what is this cross multiplication that is used in exchange rate this is a mechanism used to derive the value of two exchange rate to derive the value of exchange rate when you have value of two other exchange rates how let's say you have the value of or you have the exchange rate between rupees and pound and you also have the exchange rate between pound and us dollar so you have the exchange rate between rupees and pound and you also have exchange rate between pound and dollar then in that case it would be possible for you to find the exchange rate between rupees and dollar because here you don't have rupees and dollar here also you don't have rupees and dollar but by establishing relationship between these two you can find what is the value of rupees per dollar here in cross multiplication what happens is we product these two exchange rates and the product of these two exchange rates will give you the derived or desired exchange rate that is rupees per dollar to put it little mathematically say you want exchange rate for currencies a for b that is you want to purchase the currency b and you are ready to pay the price as currency a then in such case you can find if you have the value or exchange rate for ac and the exchange rate for cb that is if you have the product c and you are ready to pay the price as a and you have the product b and ready to pay the price as c then by taking the product of this what happens is c in the denominator and c in the numerator gets cancelled and you get what is eventually the a by b that's why it is said the two exchange rates can become product and they can derive an another exchange rate so mathematically putting it say you want to find the exchange rate for bid a by b then it should be bid a by c and bid c by b so in this process your c and c gets cancelled what you will get is bid a by b so what you have to understand here is in both the rates what you are taking is bid rate and it is not bid and ask similarly if you have ask rate say ask if you want to find ask a by b it is going to be ask a by c and ask c by b that's more important so c and c gets cancelled you will get ask a by b but let's say you don't have ask a by c and ask c by b to find this ask a by b then you can go for two way code conversion process wherein we know that ask is 1 by bid and we also know bid is 
1 by ask. So for example, if you're going to have, if you want to find ask A by B, then it's going to be simple. It is 1 by bid B by A. And if you want to find bid A by B, it's going to be 1 by ask B by A. As simple as that. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you wish to learn more on this topic, do check our comprehensive online course. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video lecture, do not forget to click on that like, share and subscribe button with bell icon.